It's the Full Force News Burst brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me, Diagnostic 80. In hand images from Thailand appear showing Snake Supreme Cobra Commander and Arctic Storm Shadow. We have our first review video for the Target exclusive classified beachhead from Anything Joe's, and a barrage of product images come flooding in for the awesome Target exclusive Cobra Island figures. Phew. Well, it has been yet another busy morning in the world of G.I. Joe Classified as the images come flooding in from around the world. First up, we started getting pictures of the Amazon exclusive Arctic Storm Shadow and the Snake Supreme Cobra Commander as they made their way into Thailand, and we even got a semi unboxing of the Snake Supreme himself. His cape is not wired, but still looks amazing, and that deco is just next level. Also, the throne art in the box acts as a nice backdrop in lieu of a real throne. Next up was a rather pleasantly surprising review video from the good folks at Anything Joe's. Make sure you check out their channel, links below, and they somehow managed to get a Target exclusive beachhead in hand for our viewing pleasure. He looks great, and I love those accessories, but do yourselves a favour and watch their video on him for a much better look. Finally, a major barrage of official Dio product photography for the Target exclusive Cobra Island range flooded into my inbox earlier, and my word, what a visual treat. I will add links to the Facebook posts for these images below so you can have a good old gander. First up, the Baroness looks sensational, and that head sculpt is everything and more. The accessories work as we imagined with that wraparound Cobra weapon, an alternate helmet head, and the larger blasters can be affixed to the bike or held by the figure. The bike is so much cooler looking than I thought, and I can't wait to have this in hand in the year 2367 via a new app by Extensive Enterprises. The glasses look removable, but that's not confirmed. They could just be separate pieces glued on after the fact. Either way, she looks incredible. Roadblock is also looking superb in these shots, and we can see that the shades are removable and slot into slight grooves where the skull cap meets the ears. Really nice addition to keep them secure. His shirt design is shown clearly here as well with that elaborate grey design on the black vest and the white G.I. Joe shooting Star and Stripes logo across his chest. See, I can rhyme too. The new head sculpt looks fantastic here again with that massive beard growth, and the broiler rail blaster looks really cool in that new metallic grey and vibrant blue. Beachhead continues this stunning display of imagery, and in addition to what we already knew, you can store his crossbow on his backpack, which is amazing. I've also only just realised it is a different crossbow design to Scarlet's as well. I did not pay attention to that detail from the earlier product images. His beret looks great on the balaclava head sculpt, even though I will more than likely display him without it. Would have been nice to have a place for the beret on his backpack or a loop on his shoulder to squidge it in like the original, but honestly, that is a rather huge nitpick, and I bloody love the inclusion of that accessory. If he wears the beret, he can store all of his weapons and accessories on his person, and that is a huge win for me. Finally, we have the Cobra Trooper. First thing I noticed here was that he can store all of his gear on his person. The rifles clip to his back on the secondary, and there is a knife sheath and pistol holster on the front of that secondary. The goggles can be worn under the helmet and can be stored over the top as well. I have had confirmation that the armband denotes a squad leader, so expect an officer further down the road. The trooper really does blow me away, along with the rest of these awesome figures. If only we'd had a better experience with Target, but I am happy to wait for a second bite at these amazing figures, even if that means waiting for them to appear on shelves. I mean, it will be worth it. That's it for this toxic positivity instalment of the Full Force News Burst. Thank you to my awesome co-host, me. See you next time, and as always, full positivity force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing, and commenting on these videos. And as always, you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash The Full Force. And if you would like to contact the show, you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback or questions. We have also started a Patreon page, so if you want to see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content, then check out patreon.com forward slash The Full Force Podcast or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in. Full Force.